Hey everyone, it is me, KB, and I wanted to give you a brief status update of Katrina Zakori, the fiber and textile or fashion brand and more. Well, I've been on a very intense journey of deeper transformation and to being more aware, self-aware, as it relates to my personal growth and personal development. And so with the transitions that I've been encountering or experiencing over the past couple of years, I've come into a deeper revelation, a revelatory event or revelation <laughs> of my life's path and where I am to go and where I am to be as I move forward into my journey of self-discovery and self-mastery. And so I am currently, at the moment, I am not designing and creating art. However, I do have pieces, a few pieces that are left that are available to purchase for sale. And at the moment, I am on a new trajectory as it relates to my path in life, what I am to give, what I am to share. Um, in the past, I've been encouraged and inspired by all of you as it relates to what I shared and my gift and my talents in the textile and fiber art and fashion design world. And I want to thank you. There's so much gratitude here. I am truly, truly honored and grateful that you saw something. <laughs> you were inspired, obviously, by my creations, which in turn inspired me to create more of the same. And over the past couple of years in my journey, I've been awakened to more aspects of my nature and who I am and who I am to be and how I am to present myself in the world. But as I move forward in the world, there's something else that I have to give in order to honor who I am authentically going forward and moving forward. And that is the journey of self-discovery and personal development. And this personal development involves being more aware and in tune with who I am on a deeper core level and helping others to do the same. And so with that being said, here I am to just share with you and let you know that I am here, I am available if you are in service or you know someone that is in search of just wanting to get on that path of honoring the self, being more self-aware, being more in tune and in flow in the rhythm of your soul on a deeper, deeper, deeper level. That's what my life and my journey is about at this particular time. That is what gives me true excitement and true joy at the moment. <laughs> well, in the past, I love doing the art. I love um, designing and handcrafting my macrame designs, which I'm wearing one of them right now. You can barely see. But now I'm in a, on a whole new journey of awakening at a deeper level and realizing what I have to offer. And here's the the thing about this journey the journey of self-discovery is a lifetime's work the journey of personal growth and personal development is in it's consistent it's a consistent and it's a constant experience that I will continue to develop and grow into and I realize that all of us are in this journey in some shape form or fashion in some way and because I realized this deeper connection from within that helps me to realize the deeper connection that I have with the collective. We are all one. We're just living an individual life to give that individual expression of what we came here to contribute and share with the collective. And because I realized that I have this unique ability to tap into and go within and to know myself on a deeper level, I realized that other individuals are out there doing the same and if not, some individuals are wanting to know more. They're wanting to know the meaning. They're wanting to know the purpose. They're wanting to know the deeper, uh, the deeperness, the depths of why things are the way they are or why they are here. Why are we here in the first place? You know, many of us know our journey. We know our mission. Some of us were born knowing and other, others uh, 
were born on, but somehow forgot <laughs> in the midst of entering into this reality where there's so many polarities and the dualities of being. We somehow lost that connection from within. The connection has always been there, but I, on my personal journey, had to rediscover how to tap back into the deeper aspects of my being and know who I am on a soul level. And so I just wanted to share with everyone how grateful I am that you have supported me. And I hope that you will continue to support me on my journey, even if it's just sharing this information and, and, and spreading it on, passing it on to someone that may be in need of hearing this information and letting them know that we are all in this together, that we're all, you know, working towards being our whole selves, going within in a time in the world that we live in and how things may seem like they're chaotic. It may seem like things are just falling apart in some people's lives. And even when we look all over the world, how there's division that's going on. And I, I want to share that when we see this division that is happening externally, it is a result of what is going on internally. So within each and every one of us, if we can just take the time to go within and check with our hearts, check that center space, and check in just to see how you're feeling. What do you really feel? What is really happening within your center, within your core? When we begin to ask ourselves the deeper questions about how are we really feeling? Who are we? What do we want to be in the world? How do we want to contribute to the collective? How do we want to shine the light? Tapping into my center, I want to share peace. I want to pull that peace out. I want to bring that harmony out. It does no good for me to go into a place of chaos when there's chaos going on externally. I know better, so I want to tap into a source of strength, a source of power. I don't want to give my power over to something that I know is not going to benefit me. It's not going to keep me in a healthy state of mind. And so I want to tap into peace and harmony and love and compassion. And I want to shine that light all over everywhere that I go. And so it is so vital that you, if you are a being of light, if you know how to tap into your light source, and if you don't know how, it's very simple, just che checking into your heart space and asking your heart to shine that light, to give you the peace that you're seeking and to trust and have faith that when you are asking that you're going to receive that light, you're going to receive that compassion, you're going to receive that peace because guess what? It's already there. You just have to trust and have the faith that it's deep inside of you. And that's the key. Have the faith and trust that you know that the peace that you're seeking and that others are seeking is provided. So we have to learn how to tap within. And when we want to make a change, the change begins with me. The change begins with you. When you want to make a change, you have to be that change. And we know that quote, be the change that you wish to see and get to know yourself on a deeper level and know that you are unique, that you are special, and you truly have something special to offer, to inspire, to encourage, and to bring that enlightenment, the awakening. And that is the journey of self-discovery, being more self-aware, tapping in. When I'm having a moment that's not considered the most favorable moment, going within my heart space, doing some self-reflection, introspection, going within, spending some quality time alone. These are all of the gifts and the practices and experiences that I've been able to partake of and really to getting to know myself and finding out who I am on a deeper level and what it is that I want to share and how I want to inspire and how I want to encourage myself. <laughs> In doing so, then that helps me to encourage others and to inspire others. But first and foremost, I have to encourage myself. I have to be that change from within and not expect it to come from external sources. And if someone is coming along to inspire me and encourage me, that's great. I love that. But if no one is available to do that, I'm still present. I'm here. 
I'm living in the now and I'm learning how to breathe in the moment and exhale and release that that doesn't serve me. And I want others to be able to do the same. But of course, it is your choice. And so that is what's happening right now with the Katrina Zakori brand, going on a deeper journey of self-discovery, not making any art at this time, but tapping within and learning all about self-awareness to master myself because I am the authority over my own life. I am my own authority. <laughs> you are your own authority. And we have to reclaim our sovereignty. And in order to do that, we have to get to know ourselves on a deeper level and know that we have what it takes within. So this is just to encourage you and to continue to shine the light and beam out peace, love, and compassion all over and help others to be enlightened and to awaken to their true core, their true selves. So with that being said, peace to you, much gratitude to you. Until we meet again, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you.